Welcome to the Cocktail Spirit from Small Screen Network. I'm your host, Robert Hess. The Monkey Gland Cocktail. Now, the name comes from, gee, how do I say this? It was a, a surgery procedure that was getting some popularity back in the early 1920s over in France of taking monkey glands and putting inside of men to help them out. Um, this actually was something that was kind of going around the United States as well, but there they're using goats instead of monkeys. If you're interested in more information about that side of things, there's a book out there called Charlatan. Uh, look it up and it gives you some, some details. It's actually kind of a fascinating book, but that has nothing to do with the cocktail. The cocktail is instead simply playing on that name. Um, it was created by Frank Meyer, a uh, bartender at the Ritz Hotel in Paris in 1923. Uh, it's actually a very good drink. It's got some interesting flavor characteristics going on as well. It's just a kind of a fun drink to uh, lay on to your friends sometimes and kind of explain where the name came from. Uh, we're going to start off with uh, two ounces of gin. For this, I'm going to use a, a new gin that's come out called Beefeater 24. It's fairly similar to the standard Beefeater. However, they've taken, they've added a couple of extra ingredients to it. Uh, grapefruit peel uh, for one, as well as a couple different types of tea to add a little bit more of a spice and interesting flavor. The, the name 24 comes from the fact that both Beefeater and Beefeater 24 are macerated in their herbs and botanicals for 24 hours before the distillation process. Hopefully you can find it where you're at. If not, go to your liquor store and ask them for Beefeater 24. I think it's a wonderful product. So we're gonna add uh, two ounces of Beefeater 24. And to that, an ounce of orange juice. Now, orange juice is a, an ingredient that you kind of need to be careful in adding to cocktails sometimes because it tends to, to flatten things down a bit. The flavor kind of mellows, and, and I don't use it that often in drinks, but in this drink it works really well uh, because of one of our later ingredients we're going to add to this. Uh, now we're going to add a quarter of an ounce of grenadine. The original recipe called for equal parts of orange juice and gin, um, and they often referred to just raspberry syrup rather than grenadine. It's basically adding kind of a sweetness as well as the red coloring that they're wanting. Now what actually assists this drink in actually working because of the amount of orange juice is absinthe. Um, it calls for a dash of absinthe, which is one of the reasons why I often take and have absinthe in a dropper bottle, because absinthe is kind of a strong flavor, and this allows me to take and control the addition to it a lot better in drinks. So I'm just going to take and put a few drops of absinthe in there. Now we're going to shake it up. Strain this into our cocktail glass. For this, I tried to pick a glass that had kind of a bit of a uh, Parisian look from the uh, 1920s. And then we're going to garnish it with an orange twist. Doing this exact same way that we typically do our lemon twists on the show using a channel knife over top of the drink. If you wanted to, you could also do this using a potato peeler, vegetable peeler, and take more of a bigger slice out. Um, sometimes the problem with those is they don't look quite as elegant, I don't think, as the nice thin twist that a channel knife provides. Wrap this around our stir rod, tighten it up, and lay it over the drink. And there we have a monkey gland cocktail.